Alright, what's up guys? Uh, this is Burn Designs here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mod World at War USB. Um, now I've already created a game save, a two-part game save. So this is pretty much just testing my two-part game save. Whoops. Alright, uh, so right here we have Mario. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new game save. And to do that, we are going to go on World at War. If it'll start up. <laughs> then we are gonna go to solo campaign and just start the start the game and press start and hit save and quit. And right there you already gotta save game. Uh what you do is you need a save game to actually modify. So uh let's go I shouldn't select, make something that's not just so you know that it's a modified one. This is gonna be on the second level. Now as you can see, that's a different startup. There's a boat. Explosions, blah blah blah, kamikaze. Alright, uh now as you can see it says little resistance. September 15, nineteen forty four, white beach. Pelalu, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce that. We're inside a boat. Hit save and quit. Now if you were to press resume, it would resume back on that boat. But we're going to just back out to the start menu. I'm going to unplug my USB from my Xbox, so I'll be right back. Alright, now that I've plugged, unplugged my USB, we're going to go ahead and plug it into the laptop, or your desktop, wherever you have the uh, programs. And we're going to go ahead and open up Mario. And then we're going to go ahead and open up a game save. As you can see, i got all my game saves here. So right here is my modded game save. I have two parts. Uh, right here is my first one. To complete the first one, what you're going to do is going to rehash and resign real quick. Save to device. And save it to your profile. But for the rehash and resign, you're going to paste your profile ID into these uh, two spots. Your profile ID and device ID into these two slots. Rehash and resign and then save to device. Now that you've already seen that I've done that, just going to go ahead and safely eject it. Alright, now we're going to plug it back into the Xbox. Alright, now that we've plugged it back in the Xbox, go ahead and do this. Alright, uh, go ahead and select your memory unit. Resume game. As you can see, it's not the same level. Right now, this is the first level. Alright, Nathan, that's all. I hate these loading screens, they take forever. Now, if we uh, press the back button, it activates the mod. Up is God Mode, left is No Clip, down is Give All, and right is Drop Weapon. Now, those were with the D pads. Now, if you go ahead and click the left bumper, it changes it to jump and gravity. Gravity is up. Um, jump is left. And right is laser. Down is the uh, physical gravity for like dead bodies floating and everything around floating. That's all toggleable. Um, next one is the zombies. You can freeze the zombies, kill the zombies, get a nuke, and I'm not, I think that's all of it. But uh, to show you that it freezes them, let's go get these guys moving. They're frozen. Uh, to show you the delete, we're gonna go right here, press that, and it deletes them all. 
and it deletes enemies only. Now we hit left or the left bumper again, it says point. But the only thing it activates is the arcade mode. You don't get any score off of that. That's because you got to go on to uh, part two. So go ahead and deactivate arcade mode. Go ahead and save and quit. And after that, go ahead and go back to the main screen and unplug your USB. Alright, now after unplugging your USB, you're going to go ahead and repeat the steps we did to get the first mod, just except with the second part. So go ahead and open it up, your hash and resign, your, your profile and device ID, and just go ahead and save that, and back this out. Plug it into your Xbox. Alright, now that we've plugged it into the Xbox, we're going to go ahead and repeat the process. Just go ahead and resume the game. Let it load. Alright, now if you hit the back button, it says main again. Go and turn on god mode. Go ahead and change, and now you can see it says kick. And last. Um, no, I haven't. Sorry about that. But, um, go ahead and to restart it, just press the back button. Press the back button, and it brings you back to the main menu. Now I haven't finished this one, so it just takes you to this. The last. Kick is the last, pretty much. Um, but yeah. But yeah, uh, points. Uh, got arcade mode. And all that. And that's pretty much it. Just save the plate, go to zombies, and you got everything. Solo Zombies, Doris. Now this works on any map too, so you don't have to only play it on Doris. Just press the back button and you got it all. Jumping gravity, turn on the gravity. Jump, jump high. Ooh. Okay, so that's. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put in falling damage before the uh, next one, before I actually release the mods. So, yeah, just uh, zombies, free zombies. Nuke, I guess the nuke doesn't work. I'll switch that out with something, I don't know. I might not. Um, not sure what the right D-pad does. Forgot what I binded to that. But let's go kill them all. Points. Turn on arcade mode. Now, to tell if you have arcade mode, just. Find a zombie. Uh, let's go here. Go here. 
Gun mode on. Kill a zombie. As you can see, I didn't get much. Now let's switch to points. Turn that on. Turn that on. No. Uh. Right now, the points is kind of uh, weird on me right now. So I'll fix that bug, but uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.